Hello, today we're going to have a look at enforcing some password security on your users. So at the point where you're creating a site where people are registering, in other words, you're collecting some information, you've got a username, you've got a password, we can do a little bit to help our users pick better passwords. I mean, ultimately, I can't stop a user from using a dumb password or using the same password for everything. But what I can do is enforce a couple constraints which are going to make that password a little bit more secure. So there's really kind of two things that you can do, and one of them is enforce a password length. So a minimum length of six or eight, those are common on the web. Uh, some sites have no minimum length, and that's not a good idea. So length in a password is one thing you can help yourself with. The other way that you can help yourself is to enforce that there are uppercase, lower, uppercase characters as well as lowercase characters. Maybe you require a special character or a number. I've seen all these schemes out there. The larger library of characters that you force your user to pull from and the longer the password, the more secure it's going to be. Of course, I can't stop a user from using the same password over and over again or something like that. But let's talk about what I can do to help them. So the first thing to understand here is that so I've already written some of the code, but really the best tool for this process is called regular expressions. I plan to tackle that at some point in a future video, but regular expressions are complicated and they can be as complicated as you want them to be. You could literally take an entire course on it and that'd be the best way to make sure a password looks a certain way. But we're going to do a little more crude approach because with the tools that we have available to us. So here's my form I'm using the post method because I'm passing around passwords fields I'm looking at are uname, pass1, and pass2. I've built in a little is set up here. So is set is just checking for the presence of uname. The idea being if there's something called uname present, then it means the form has been submitted. There's my require script. Here I'm sanitizing uname and pass1 because ultimately those things are going to go into a database table. That one won't, so I don't need to sanitize that. If you're wondering what the heck is sanitizing data, what's a connect script, what is this all this is set business, then you're just going about things in the wrong order. This is not a, the best place to start. This is just the start of a conversation of enforcing a better password. So at this point, uh, I'm going to use some built-in PHP functions to enforce the integrity of the password. So I'm going to do that with an if. So say if, and then the function I want to use is strlen. It's an abbreviation, if you want to call it that, for string length. It tells you how long a string is. And so I'd say if uh, pass1, if the string length of pass1 is greater than or equal to 8. Right there, that is how you would check if a password is, you know, 8 characters or more. There's my if. I like to comment out my closing bracket. So if uh, length. And then I'm going to do a nested if. So let's not even look at the contents of the password if it's not long enough. If it's long enough, well, let's look at something else. And this if right here that we're about to fill in is going to be a little more difficult. So there's a couple functions you can use for yourself. One of them is uh, it's function PHP function called C type underscore upper. Now what that does is that looks at the variable and determines whether it's all uppercase. And there's also one for lower. So if it's <clears throat> all uppercase, that's a problem. If it's all lowercase, that's a problem. If it's not either one of those things, well, then that means it has uppercase and lowercase characters in it. So using PHP functions, I could kind of write it like this. So not C type underscore upper. And I'm looking at that thing called pass one, I believe it's called. So if that thing is not true and not C type. I mean, there's other ways you could write this. If you don't like the way I'm writing it, you certainly could uh, address the situation differently. And we're looking at pass one again. So this little uh, thing I wrote right here, which might be kind of hard to follow, might not. So you're saying, hey, it's not uppercase. So it's not all uppercase. It's not all lowercase. And it's eight or longer. Then this is the, this is good, right? Like right here would be, if this was a function, this would be where you'd return true, or you, right? The way this thing's going, I'd say like, great, or something like that. And then really the other way of thinking about this would be uh, if you don't get that great message, then this whole thing just doesn't work, right? Like you failed. So you could have a fail on that else and a failure right there. But this whole thing at this point seems very reusable. And I'm going to stop playing around and make this into a function, right? It seems like you might want to validate a password more than once. So let me show you how to take this logic here. So rather than worrying about what it prints out, I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to do a function out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a function, and the function is going to be called something like, uh, oops, uh, we'll say valid p password, 
and it takes something called pass one. So this is now, basically I'm gonna take this code which I wrote, and which is logically sound, and I'm just, I'm just gonna more or less take it and paste it into this function, and we'll talk about kind of how that works. So if you're not real comfortable with functions, you might not like this a whole lot, but I'm telling you this is a this is a good way to do this, I'm trying to indent things. All right, so what I've done is I've taken that exact same logic that I didn't change at all, and I've given it a name called valid password, and you pass it something called pass one. It looks at the length, it looks at the type, and rather than echo, what I want to do here is turn that into return true. And so the way, uh, the, the nature of a Boolean function is it either returns true or it doesn't return anything at all. So I don't need to worry about those else's. This function right here will return true only in the event that the password is at least eight characters long and uh, not all uppercase and not all lowercase. And so that's pretty good. One of the other things which is common uh, in password security is to enforce the idea of it has to have a number in it or it has to have a special character in it. That can help a lot. The problem with that, if we want to call it a problem, is that there isn't uh, really a tool in PHP which determines if there's a number in there or not. Like you can determine if something is a number or is not a number, but there's not something something easy to use. Now we certainly could do that. Or at this point we could just stop and kind of reflect and talk about the idea that this is a good idea to do, but if you really, really want your in user input to match a particular pattern or follow a set of rules, regular expressions are the best tool for that. I certainly could write a function to enforce numbers. It just wouldn't be as, right, it, it would take longer than seven minutes. So. This right here is the idea behind validating a password, right? From our perspective, we can't make it a good password, but we can at least say that it's long and it has uppercase and lowercase numbers, and this function will accomplish that. Thanks for watching.